So the next thing is utilize social media, mm -hmm. right? Make sure that you have all of your social media accounts set up. Make sure that you have, you know, obviously content, again, content published there as well. Mm -hmm. You can have links pointing back. These will be no follow links, but still social signals and utilize social media. Yeah. At least you can generate some engagement and traction on your social media pages prior to having your website go live. You know that you can easily start to get some of these individuals that are following you and, and engaging with you on social media to come to your site once it's live. Right. And I think one step that'll help you a lot in the long run as well as when you're just starting out is investing in building your content library. Mm -hmm. So hiring a professional to take professional photos. I know with web design that's a constant battle is trying to get the right photos and high quality images from the clients and for social media it's going to make your life e a lot easier too and it's going to make you look professional Absolutely. and also I think social media is uh, is important to invest in early on because with SEO we're not going to be able to generate traffic until a few months down the line just mm -hmm. because of the nature of SEO and so social media and Facebook advertising Instagram LinkedIn etc is a good way to get vis some visibility and traffic to your site uh, when you're just starting out Yep, absolutely, absolutely. And then I know that we already touched base on this, but I'm gonna bring it up again, is the schema markup, mm -hmm. right? So the schema markup is essentially what allows you to potentially get position zero, mm -hmm. right? Which is what you see at the top now on Google, right below the ads, right above the organic searches. And it could be either an FAQ schema markup, it could be reviews, ratings, questions. So there are different types of schemas that you can get, but ensuring that you have this in place mm -hmm. uh, prior to going live is, is very important. Yeah, and it'll save you a lot of headaches uh, rather than going back and having to retroactively doing it. Yeah. I know that's a major pain. Yeah, absolutely. So essentially this checklist that we're going after, that we're reviewing is so you can be proactive rather than reactive right. um, later on down the road with your SEO strategy. The next thing here is an obvious for us is make sure that you have your Google Analytics and Google Search Console set up. That's extremely important. Uh, without that, you will not know how well your site is performing, what mm -hmm. keywords people are typing in to get to your site, therefore, how to optimize and move forward. So that is definitely... Yeah, uh, you're, you're flying blind yeah, without it. Yeah, correct, correct. And then the last thing is, which I kind of feel like a lot of new sites when they first go live or when they're even when they're in the development stages, they kind of oversee sometimes and they kind of leave to, to the last you know moment and they don't really think about this first and that's your mobile right a lot of times i'll develop for desktop and then i go back and try to make it mobily responsive yeah right the same problem we should try to figure out how is this going to look on mobile and then we'll worry about desktop after right. right and why is that it's because we know that the majority of traffic is now coming from mobile we know that google is crawling mobile first right so why don't we actually implement that into our strategy and imp into our decision making in the very beginning when we're talking about user interface and user experience, we should think mobile first. I see you smiling over here. What, what <laughs> I'm you? just thinking good idea. <laughs> yeah, we we good should idea. start doing that because uh, I, I tend to fall into the same things where because we're working on the computer, it's easier to design these pages on the desktop. Mm -hmm. But you got to be thinking we're mobile first for these yeah, pages. Absolutely. All right, so that is our SEO checklist for new websites. Later on, we'll most likely be doing an advanced SEO checklist. So stay tuned and we'll talk to you guys next week.